to uh, Governor Kay Ivey's press conference. Necessary, now is the time to take necessary precautions during, to, during today's disruptive weather. Joining me today are Alabama EMA Executive Operations Officer Jeff Smitherman and the State Meteorologist Jim Stefkovich, and they will both provide an update momentarily. We've already had some extended, in, we've already endured some severe weather already in the state, but Jim tells me that the stronger storms could come from now into the night and early Tuesday morning. It's impossible for us to know exactly where and how this storm will land, but it's all important that our systems are all prepared to go and so we'll be prepared for the impact on our state. While most of our state is under a slight or enhanced risk of severe storms, the northern part of our state is under a moderate risk, and that means the chance for high and strong winds for tornadoes, very large hail, and damaging winds across parts of the Tennessee Valley and all the way down to the Birmingham area. I want to make it this very clear. We are not taking this situation lightly. On the state level, we are working closely with our local partners so that we are all ready to respond if needed. So now is the time to start making your plans to leave for where you plan to get in your safe location. Some of us could see 70 miles per hour or higher winds, baseball size hail, and even a tornado. My team and I have been monitoring this system throughout the day. Some businesses and school systems heated these warnings and they've closed early. The exact locations of where these storms will form are unpredictable. And that is why it is paramount that we prepare ahead of time. Alabama EMA and local county EMAs are working closely to ensure resources are in place should they be needed. We do not anticipate a widespread event, but those who do experience storms will most likely experience even strong and more severe storms. All Alabamians, but especially those in the northern half of the state, must make sure they and their families are well prepared and heed any other directions that come from state or local officials. Prepare, pay attention, and listen to local officials. This is my advice to all Alabamians this evening.